Hey everyone. Um, this is the first video of 2019. I know you're looking at this kind of wondering what in the world's going on. Um, what I'm doing right now is getting ready to set a couple of uh, swarm traps up in my yard. I'm only going to put them around my bees this year. I'm not going to go hang up anything in anybody else's land. This is just basically in case you know I get busy and I actually have a hive that swarms before I'm ready to deal with it. Maybe I'll look out and catch it, or maybe I'll look out and catch a, you know, a wild swarm or one of my neighbors. Doing something a little different this year. Don't know if I've shown you this before. I made jars of these up a few years ago, and I still have some left. It's a mixture of beeswax, uh, oil, any kind, olive oil, corn oil, whatever you want to use. I think I use corn in this. And a bunch of lemongrass oil. And it's, you know, it's not hard. You can... Take it out and rub it on like a like a balm. And you can use it in your hands, so I use some of it for sometimes when I'm working out here in a lot of the wood. Um, but what it is, you know, it's a nice beeswax smell when it heats up. It gives off a nice lemongrass aroma. And instead of using my normal uh, paper towels in, inside the Ziploc bag with lemongrass oil as a swarm bait, I'm actually rubbing this inside my swarm traps and on my frames. I do this anyway, generally when I build new boxes and new nukes, I rub some of this around just to get some nice uh, warning kind of bee smells to the nice fresh cut wood. But I thought what I'd go ahead and do this time is go ahead and put a lot of extra on my frames and just skip the bag and the whole other mess um, of baiting my, my traps. So I've got some here, I've got some over there. Doing the same normal setup, you know I've got some drawn comb in some of these. You know, we got frames of a little drawn cone. I haven't put any really dark stuff in it. I've noticed up here where I am at, if I put a really dark frame in, I tend to get a lot of uh, moths that hit it pretty quick. So I'm using some used with smells, but nothing too dirty. We got some other chunks of drawn comb in it. We got some foundation. I've already rubbed some of this mixture inside the box itself and hit it with a heat gun. You can see where it's kind of melted and ran down the sides. I've done that on all the sides and the bottom. In this top section, I may hit it with a little bit of heat just to kind of help the wood absorb it a little bit, but I'm not going to fully melt it. Let's see if you can see this here. You see how I'm kind of activating the smells by heating it up. I'm not really trying to fully melt it and have it run over the frames. I can already smell it pretty well. When I started a few minutes ago, there were no bees in sight. Bees are already smelling it. I've already got some running around over here and landing on equipment, trying to see what's going on. But I'll go through and just hit the light, the thin wax up and on to kind of bond it to the frame. The built up sections I'll leave alone. I'm going to do this, screw on the lid, and go hang my traps out on a tree in my backyard, near a telephone pole, all that kind of stuff. Just so I can reach for a normal ladder. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. You can see after it cools, kind of get a nice little bit of coverage. This will give off scent for a long time without it being really strong and overpowering. And, you know, it's not going to hurt anything if I decide to pull my traps after storm season. I can leave this on here and throw it in my other boxes or scrape it off or do whatever I want with it. So I'm going to finish doing this and I hang everything up. I just wanted to show you kind of another way that you can bait your traps that I've used in the past. I haven't done it in a while, but... uh you know, this, this is another route you can take. Just make you up a jar of this when you're melting wax and keep it around and use it for all kinds of things. You can put it in your, your toolkit, in your box. Anytime you do new frames, you can take a big chunk out in your finger and rub it on the sides of your frames, on your boxes, you know, wherever. So, uh, getting these hung up, we're going to be looking at doing splits and stuff here in a few weeks. After I started putting the top on, I forgot to show you. Um, using the same mixture is also a good way to seal up the uh, screw holes in your lids, help waterproof them. And take some of this mixture and just rub it into your hole and you leave it a little thick if you want. It'll heat up in the sun a little bit, melt, but it's going to fill in around those holes nicely. And extra smells never hurt attracting uh, scout bees. So there's that. Got a hole sealed up. Going to do the other ones and go hang them. And uh, until next time, you know, I'll see you then.